Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with my week four XFL picks and a recap of last week. Coming up right after this. <laughs> So we're back, and guess what? This past week, I was 3-1. and one. Got the DC game wrong. I cannot believe DC got destroyed. Absolutely destroyed by LA. But, on the year, that still makes me 10-2. <laughs> <ten and two. laughs> I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, so, I'm taking that 10-2 and two record for a spin and uh, that's going to be starting out with Saturday February 29th when the uh, LA Wildcats will be at the New York Guardians that game will be on ABC and uh, it's going to be in LA and or no it's going to be in New York it's going to be in New York on ABC at 2 p.m. On next Saturday, the 29th of February. Um, and I am going to take L.A. in that game. After they destroyed D.C., they're looking... Uh, it's looking like whatever problems they had the first two games, they've solved those problems. Um, then you've got Seattle at St. Louis on Fox. And that's the 5 p.m. game on Saturday, the 29th. And in that game, I'm going to go with, uh, that game is on it, did I say five? It's on at five, yeah. So I'm going to go with St. Louis, the St. Louis Battle Hawks. Now, St. Louis looks like a good team. They look like maybe they're, um, I mean, you know, I'm a Defenders fan, but I got to say that St. Louis team is looking pretty tough to beat. And, and D.C. happens to be in the same division with St. Louis. So uh, they're going to be, they look like they're going to be a tough team to beat. Um but this week was a little more impressive. I, I like the play before I get to the Sunday games next week. I didn't forget about those. I am going to predict those, too. Um, hopefully correctly. But anyway, um, yeah, the, the quality of play looked better this week. The quarterbacks looked better. Um, Landry Jones, he looked a lot better. Although that was probably just mainly because effectively his really his first game practicing or playing really was was last week's game or was yeah last week's game so he looked a lot better in this game the receivers looked better they were catching the balls more when they should have um, the quarterbacks were hitting um, receivers when they should have um, quality play was a lot better so I hope that that trend continues and the league continues to grow and the quality of play improves. People keep going to the games. I want to see that league survive. Um, it would be very interesting to see that league keep going. Because, you know, it's at a time right now where there isn't a lot going on, you know. I mean, I got to admit, I did watch one spring training baseball game over one of the... Uh, uh, one of the actual games on Sunday, but, you know, I still think it's, uh, I still think it's a, it, it's, it's looking like a pretty good league and I, I hope it survives. So now to the Sunday games, because I know you're waiting for that. You're waiting for that so you can call your bookie in Vegas and say, hey, Sportsman says this, and oh, by the way, Sportsman is 10 and 2 so far. But anyway, on Sunday, March 1st, there's going to be a 4 p.m. Now, this is different than the usual schedule, because usually the Sunday schedule is the first game's a 3 p.m. game. The second game is at 6 p.m. But on Sunday, March 1st, next Sunday, the first game will be at 4 p.m., and the second game will be at 7. 
So anyway, the first game is Houston at Dallas, and that's going to be on FS1. I'm going with Houston in that one. I think the Western Division team is probably going to be Houston. I think I'm going to call this right now. I just, you know, I'm going to do it. I think that the XFL championship game is going to be um, St. Louis against Houston. That's my call. We'll see what happens. Yes, I'm a Defenders fan. But I got to say, the Defenders, they got, you know, they got taken out behind the woodshed by L.A. So I don't see them getting past St. Louis. But anyway, so the 7 p.m. game on Sunday, March 1st, is going to be D.C. at Tampa. And that's going to be um, on ESPN2, like I said, 7 p.m. I'm going to go with D.C. in that one, even though um, I just said that they really look bad against L.A. I think L.A. just really, um, I think L.A. is just starting to hit their stride, and they'll be a, a pretty good team. But Tampa Bay does not really look like a very good team. They were better this week. Again, going along with the general theme of the quality of play getting better, Tampa Bay really looked a lot better than they did in the first two weeks. But I still think they're going to lose to D.C. So those are my picks. The Saturday games, I'm going to take L.A. over New York and St. Louis over Seattle. And then on the Sunday games, I'm going to take Houston over Dallas and uh, D.C. over Tampa Bay. So what did you guys think? Did uh, anybody, if there's anybody out there that's been following it every week like I have, do you think the quality of play has gotten better? Do you think the players are starting to gel? The teams are starting to get better and play a better quality of football? And um, do you think that I'm off on my uh, prediction for the uh, XFL championship? I think DC is going to have a good team, but I, don't, I, I just don't think they're going to get past uh, St. Louis. And really, Houston is clearly the, the class of the Western Division. So, that's all I got right now. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.